The magnetic field of the Earth is the cornerstone of satellite and computer-based navigation systems. Dipole magnetic fields shield us from harmful radiation and keep water from escaping the planet. The magnetic field of Earth is exhibiting some peculiar behavior. Since the beginning of the 20th century, as its magnetic north pole has gotten smaller, it has slowly moved from the Canadian Arctic to Siberia. Still, the slow migration south has sped up in the last few decades, and some species now move as far as 30 kilometers each year. Could a geomagnetic reversal, in which the magnetic north and south poles switch places, be on the horizon? Why are the Earth's poles switching places? What will happen, and how will we handle it? In this video, we delve into the phenomenon of the Earth's poles switching positions, which has many experts worried right now. About 1,800 miles, 2,896 kilometers below our feet, the flow of molten iron in the planet's core generates the magnetic field we experience on Earth. Electromagnetic fields are caused by the electric currents in this superheated liquid, but no one knows why the poles switch places. Computer simulations of planetary motion reveals that the flip occurs automatically. This idea is backed up by the fact the sun's magnetic field changes direction once every 11 years. Our own magnetic field began to take shape about 4 billion years ago, and the Earth's magnetic poles have flipped several times since then. The magnetic field has changed 10 times in the past 2.6 million years, and the most recent change was 780,000 years ago, leading some scientists to speculate that another is imminent. What is the Earth's magnetic field, and how did it form? Especially considering that reversals are neither predictable nor periodic. Presumably, you are familiar with how a bar magnet operates. Imagine a huge bar magnet, the size of a city block, buried deep inside the Earth and nearly perpendicular to the Earth's axis. The magnet's north and south poles are roughly in the center and at each end, respectively. The actual angle separating the magnetic poles is only about 10 degrees. Invisible magnetic field lines move in a tight, continuous loop around Earth and are almost vertical lines of longitude that meet at the geographic north and south poles. The geographic south pole is in Antarctica, and the geographic north pole is in the Arctic Ocean. In contrast, the magnetic poles are found at the points where the Earth's magnetic lines of attraction meet the planet. Please take note that the magnetic north pole, sometimes called the North Dipole, is currently located on Ellesmere Island in northern Canada. When using a magnetic compass, the north direction really indicates the magnetic north pole, which is about 500 kilometers, 310 miles, from the geographic north pole. Perhaps even more unexpected is the fact that the Earth's magnetic poles are not static, as was discovered by British Arctic explorer James Clock Ross in 1831. Once situated on the Bouvier Peninsula in Canada, the magnetic North Pole has been steadily moving northwestward at a rate of about 25 miles, 40 kilometers per year, since the early 20th century, which is why the question of what triggers Earth's magnetic field is so pressing. Due to the fact that the Earth has an iron core and the magnetic characteristics of metal diminish with increasing temperature, it is impossible for the ions at the center of the Earth to be responsible for the planet's magnetic field. In a bicycle's dynamo light, as you pedal, magnets inside the dynamo begin to spin, creating an electric current that aids in the production of light. However, in the case of the Earth's magnetism, the opposite occurs as rotating an electric current generates a magnetic field. This is what you're looking for, a geodynamo. The magnetic field of Earth is generated in its outer core, which is located deep within the planet's interior. With a positive feedback loop, the kinetic energy of the slowly flowing molten particles is converted into electrical and magnetic energy. Electric currents are stimulated by the magnetic field, leading to the production of a magnetic field of their own. Earth's magnetic field is a powerful tool, and you can use it effectively by practicing. Without proper protection, astronauts on Mars can and will die from the absence of a magnetic field, the magnetosphere or protective bubble that Mars lacks. This bubble protects Earth's population from harmful elements, climactic conditions in outer space, such as solar winds. Wind, a consequence of the sun's activity, would have eroded our atmosphere and left you unable to breathe. Magnetosphere also shields Earth from harmful particle radiation generated by the sun during CMEs. As a bonus, during CME episodes, cosmic rays are blocked from entering Earth's atmosphere. 
From outer space, our majestic magnetosphere deflects and ensnares deadly energy in the zone. We have a wonderful atmosphere that keeps destructive eradication confined to no-go zones. These rings of radiation are the famous Ban Allen belts, and they are formed like donuts. Obviously, geomagnetic CT has its limitations when solar activity rises. Although the magnetosphere performs a necessary function, it is not infallible and is sometimes breached. Extremely negative geo-CME storms can cause global radio and power outages by penetrating Earth's protective magnetosphere. Though they were a fatality for marsh flora and fauna, the Lashos events had far repercussions for species farther north at the time. Carried in service is the Lashem's fatal ramifications were recently illustrated by trees in New Zealand's north. Thousands of years ago, experts examined carbon-14 fluctuations in press-selected cross-sections. Warframe, Kansas One way to prevent the fading of which lapping application is to use carbon-14, a radioactive form of carbon. Global climactic and biological shifts, such as the extinction of the megafauna in Australia and the extinction of the Neanderthals in Europe, both of which may have been hastened by climate-related events in their environments, as suggested by computer climate modeling, occurred at about the same time. Scientists accessed historical records. They tracked changes in carbon-14 concentrations throughout the period of time that includes the Lash Amp reversal, when the magnetic field was weakening. Their research uncovered increased levels of radioactive carbon in the atmosphere, and this coincided with records of devastating global climactic and biological shifts, such as the extinction of the megafauna of Australia and the extinction of the Neanderthals in Europe. These extinctions may have been hastened by climate-related events in their environments, as suggested by the researchers. Scientists are keeping an eye out for a possible reversal that could happen sooner than we might have thought. For example, the North Pole is currently moving across the Bering Sea, and the magnetic field has weakened by about 10% in the last 170 years. Over the past 71 million years, there have been at least 171 reversals, so it's possible we're due for another. As a result, scientists are working around the clock to learn more about the phenomenon and how humanity can prepare for it on a global scale. If the Earth's magnetic poles were to switch places right now, for example, one of the most obvious and unsettling consequences would be an increase in the number of cancer cases. This is because the Earth's magnetic field protects us from harmful solar energetic particles and cosmic rays, both of which can produce genetic abnormalities that can eventually lead to cancer. Another effect is that satellites are already showing signs of a weakening magnetic field, which could be very bad if there were long periods of magnetic instability before the flip. The South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAA, is a location in the Atlantic Ocean between South America and Africa where the magnetic field is said to be three times weaker than it is near the poles, resulting in increased technical failure in satellites operating in the area. Even though more study is needed, the SAA serves as a guinea pig for exploring what a magnetic pole flow might look like. Several satellites have reported technical difficulties when flying over the SAA, and models have shown features in the SAA spreading globally. So the SAA is a good example of how a weak magnetic field can affect satellites. This means that our electrical grid could be compromised, which could result in the loss of electronic devices such as home appliances and wireless equipment. The problem is that we built most of our important infrastructure when the Earth's magnetic field was strong and stable, without thinking about things like magnetic pole flipping. Weather predictions are streamed live on YouTube using a mobile phone or GPS tracker. Not only would you be without reliable means of environmental monitoring or communication, but experts also say that you wouldn't even be able to reliably navigate your home without electricity. What do you think about this event? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on any news about the James Webb Space Telescope and other space-related topics. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you onto another space adventure.